Quantum, this one's for you. Another one for you. Since you want to call me out in my comment section, I'm going to call you out again. Because you do not know what you're talking about whatsoever. So, we have a video pulled up here from Review Tech USA. And we're looking at Rich. Now, this is what Rich looks like in real life. And we are going to force BT2020, which is revolutionary to Quantum TV for some reason. And we're going to show you the hugely negative impacts this has. So let's go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to follow up with some more examples of just why you do not use BT2020 on SDR content that is mastered in the Rec 709 color space. Okay, so you ready? Bam. Now I hope that you can see that Rich has suddenly taken on a spray tan appearance. He almost looks like he's wearing lipstick now. The colors are very oversaturated and inaccurate as hell. Now, if you can't see this, and if you think that this looks good, you need to get your fucking eyes checked. That's all I'm gonna say. Get your fucking eyes checked, bro. Let's go back to Rec 709. See? Natural, lifelike, this is how Rich would appear in person under his studio lighting. Not like this, not orangish, pinkish, whatever you want to call it. That is not natural. And this is exactly why you do not force BT2020 on SDR content that is mastered in the Rec 709 color space, which is what all SDR content is mastered at. We'll flip, flip it one more time. Hopefully you can see that, and I will follow up with some more examples. Okay, so I've pulled up another example here of where forcing BT2020 on SDR content mastered in the Rec 709 color space has a huge negative impact. So let's take a look again. This is Kit Boga, a YouTuber who dedicates his YouTube channel to scam baiting scammers. All right, so let's go ahead and force BT2020. Now, do you see that? I hope that you can see that because that is very unnatural looking. Isn't that more natural looking than this? I will continue. Let me find some more examples. So we got another example pulled up here. You guys might know him. This is Paul from the Tech Giant. He also does TV reviews. And we're going to see what happens when we force BT2020 on this SDR Rec 709 content. Let's do it. Are you guys seeing a trend here? Are you seeing that this is not what you want to be doing? See, for all of you people out there following this clown, Quantum TV, look at this. That is what happens when you follow a fraud. Natural skin tone, fake spray tan. I hope that I've demonstrated well enough the hugely negative impacts that using BT2020 has on SDR content. And I will keep going. All right, so I put up another video and this is engraven here. 
hashtag team keep it clean, who is a YouTuber who follows all Baltimore Ravens news, who I personally follow. All these examples are from YouTubers I follow. Let's see what happens when we force BT2020 on his SDR content. Yikes. Now, there is no denying that this is very inaccurate. This is how engraving would look in real life. Not like this. Not orange. Are you kidding me? How can you not see this, Mr. Professional Calibrator? How? Explain it to me. Explain how you can't see this.